Section 1.5, to apply appropriate techniques, tools, and formulas to determine measurements. To start, we have the ruler postulate. This is when points on a line can be aligned such that the distance between them is the absolute value of the real numbers they are aligned with. In other words, it's the distance between the two points on the number line. It can be determined by the given formula. Notice here that we want to find the length of AB, segment AB, on this number line. And this is the formula that we're going to use. Notice that when I have just AB without the symbol on top of it, that means I want to denote length. While this is signifying segment, this is the segment length of AB. And this is the formula that we're going to use. The length of AB is determined by the absolute value of A, which is the coordinate of A, minus B, which is the coordinate of B. Let's solve this problem by finding the length of AB. What we have to do is substitute into the formula and simplify. Here, coordinate A is a negative 3 minus B, which is 1. That gives us an absolute value of a negative 4. The absolute value of a negative 4 is 4. The length of segment AB is 4. Let's look at a few more examples. Here, I have a number line that's given to us, and we want to determine the length of AB. So the absolute value of A, which is a negative 4, minus the absolute value of B, which is a negative 1, gives us the absolute value of a negative 4 plus 1, which is the absolute value of a negative 3. I get 3 for the length of AB. BC, the coordinate of B is a negative 1, minus the coordinate of C, which is 1. Therefore. The absolute value of a negative 1 minus a negative 1 is the absolute value of a negative 2, which is 2. The length of BC is 2. DB is going to give us a coordinate of 3 minus the coordinate of B is going to give us a negative 1. Therefore, the absolute value of 3 plus 1 is 4. The absolute value of 4 is 4. The length of DB is 4. Defining the segment addition postulate. If three points are collinear, and here are the diagram, I have A, B, and C. They are collinear. They are all on the same line. And B is between A and C. Between means it has to be collinear. B cannot be above or below the line. It has to be on the line set in between A and C. Then I know that the length of AB plus the length of BC must add up to equal the length of AC. For a quick example, we could let AB be 12 units long, and we could let BC be 23 units long. Therefore, AB plus BC would equal the length of AC. Therefore, 12 plus 23 equals the length of AC, which would give us 35. Our next example, if AC equals 35 and AB is 2x plus 3 and BC is 3x minus 8, find the value of x and the measure of each segment. Well, here I'm given that the length of AC is 35. I'm also given that AB is 2x plus 3 and BC is 3x minus 8. Then I'm just going to use the segment addition postulate, which is if B is between A and C, then AB plus BC equals AC. And then I just substitute. AB is 2x plus 3 plus BC, which is 3x minus 8. And AC is given to be 35. Simplify and solve gives me 5x equal to 40. So x is equal to 8. At this point, most of you would think we are complete. But what we have to do is recall in the problem that they asked us to find the measure of each segment. Therefore, we need to take the value of x, which is 8, and substitute into each segment. Therefore, ab is equal to 2x plus 3. x is equal to 8. Therefore, that's 16 plus 3, which is 19. That is the length of AB. BC is equal to 3x minus 8. Substituting in, 
3 times 8 minus 8 gives me 24 minus 8, which is 16. And 16 and 19 will add up to be 35. Our next example. Use the figure to determine the following measures. By the segment addition postulate, we know that if Q lies between P and R, then we know that PQ plus QR is equal to PR. And we want to use this information to solve the next two problems. Here we're given PQ equals 23 and PR is 51. From our formula, PQ plus QR equals PR. PQ is 23 plus, we don't have QR, that's what we're trying to find. And we are given PR. Therefore, when I solve, QR is equal to 28. Our next problem, again, we're going to use the same formula, PQ plus QR equals PR. Then we just substitute in the known values. PR is 62. QR is 34. And we want to determine PQ. Solving the problem, we get PQ to equal 28. One more example. If E is between F and G, find the value of X and the measure of each segment using the given information. Let's draw the segment. We have F and G, and we have a point E that is in between F and G. Therefore, it is collinear. I recommend not placing it in between the two, dead in the center. That will give us an assumption that is not true. Therefore, I usually place it to one side or the other. Now, let's use the given information. We know that GF is 12x minus 8. And we also know that EG is 3x plus 5. And EF is 6x minus 1. Knowing the segment addition postulate that E is between F and G, I know that FE plus EG equals FG. Then we just substitute in the known values. FE is 6x minus 1 plus EG, which is 3x plus 5, and FG, which is 12x minus 8. Then we simplify. 9x plus 4 equals 12x minus 8. That gives me 3x equal to 12, or x is equal to 4. But recall, we wanted to determine the measure of each segment. Therefore, we have to substitute 4 into each expression. Here, I'm given Fe to be 6x minus 1. Substituting 4, I get Fe equal to 23. Eg. is equal to 3x plus 5. Therefore, when I substitute, 3 times 4 plus 5 gives me 3 times 4, which is 12 plus 5, which is 17. And finally, fg. fg is equal to 12x minus 8. And when I substitute, 12 times 4 minus 8 gives me 12 times 4 is 48 minus 8, and I get 40. I also could have got 40 just by adding FE and EG. 23 plus 17 is 40.